tonight I decided to move up my live to tonight instead of tomorrow morning and I am going to um, do the wheat here the wheat stitch and I'm using two threads tonight two out of the six so I'm going to pull those out And hold on a second. I have a very, very loud ice machine in the background that I'm sure you can hear. So I'm going to turn that off. It's really struggling. Alright, so I'm doing my harvest stitch along and normally I have been doing these during the day because I like, uh, I really like the natural daylight and so um, it just worked out that I had some time to go live tonight and I haven't gone live um, at night time for this yet so I apologize if you were waiting for an alert on me scheduling this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it tonight and you can watch the replay later if you need to. And also, sorry if you hear my dog trip up the stairs because <laughs> he's wandering around a lot tonight. All right, so for tonight's stitch, um, we're gonna be using, I need a needle minder out here. Let's see. We're gonna be using DMC, uh, a yellow, one, that's one of my favorites. And the yellow is number 729. 729 and it's a lovely golden color it's one of my favorite yellows from DMC so I use it quite a bit and this is my needle minder that's in my shop it's just a place to rest your needle while you're stitching if you need that We're going to start here at the top. I'm using two threads and we're going to start here at the top of the wheat. And this is called the flyleaf stitch. We're going to go down to the bottom of this V and pull it through. And then we're going to go to the top of this little V here and then insert our needle on the other point, the opposite point. And we're going to leave a little loop. So hold your loop here and come up with your needle at the bottom of the little V here and pull it till that loop is tight and then insert your needle directly below where you came up and it secures that in place. I love the flyleaf stitch. It is definitely one of my favorites. So you can build as many as you want down here. You can make like ferns with this. You could do um, larger fronds as you go, keep them tighter together whatever you want. So we're going to keep our loop here. You don't want it all twisted. Come up at the bottom of a V shape. <laughs> and I just realized I made a mistake here. <laughs> okay. So normally you would insert your needle right below this. 
but if you for the v but if you want it to continue on you go down to the next v like this and it makes a y instead see that i apologize if you were working right along with me <laughs> so to fix this because i'm not going to go back and cut it out it's not really necessary right now i'm just going to come up with the bottom of that and make a little stitch there and no one will know the difference unless they watch this video so come up at the top of this v-shape again and the other top hold this down now we're only using two strands here because i wanted these to be very thin and kind of um wispy i guess then we're going down to the next V. There we go. Up at the top. And there. Come up at the bottom of that line. Pull it. And then insert it at the bottom of the next V. Okay, and here's our last one. So we're gonna come up there. And then this one, we're gonna insert our needle just below that V and pull it tight. Now here's where we pick up with our stem stitch. So with the stem stitch, I'm gonna skip one stitch length because I can't come up in the same place. So I'm gonna insert this down in here, leaving a loop. So this is the stem stitch now, and I use this for most stems. We're gonna come up in the middle of that stitch. I'm coming up on the right side, and so every time now I'm gonna come up on the right side. It's important to keep it consistent. Go down a stitch length. Take your little loop. Come up in the middle. Pull it. Down. Come up to the right of our loop again. Pull. And as we go, it makes this lovely, as long as you're coming up on the same side every time, it makes this lovely little twist. A lovely little twist to the stem. And there's our first piece of wheat. Now with this one, um, I'm gonna work up. We're gonna work from the bottom to the top. So leaving a loop, I'm gonna come up to the right side again. And this time we're working our way up. If your th thread twists over here with the loop, I mean, it's important for it to not get too twisted, but we don't really need to straighten it out because when you come up in the middle of that and then pull it, it's all gonna flatten out. This will be a pretty easy one for you to complete. As you can see, I finally finished my pumpkins and um, I was finishing this in my car pickup line the other day, waiting at my kid's school and realized I didn't have the right colors with me. So that's why I haven't completed mine yet. I'm working on too many other projects. Coming up on the right side and then inserting here at the bottom of this V. 
Now I'm going to skip up to the top now because the flyleaf, um, we can't really do that one backwards like we did the stem stitch going up this time. So I'm just going to, now it's going to give us like a line of thread here because we stretched it up to here, but that's fine. Okay, I'm going to come up at the top, insert my needle at the bottom of the V. And this time I'll do it properly, unlike the last time. <laughs> From one top to the other, untwist our loop here, and then insert it at the bottom of the next V. This will be a shorter live because this, or shorter recording, because this one is a little more simple and straightforward. And then I will try to schedule a time to go live again this week. So you don't have to wait a whole week for me. And we will work on this part over here, the beading next, which is a lot of fun to do, I think. Insert that down here. And then we've got one more V to do here. There we go. And then insert it as close as you can at the bottom there. Pull it tight and then we're going to tie it off in the back. And there's our little wheat. Isn't that cute? So I told you this one would be shorter and I think that's all we're going to do for tonight. I will come live again later this week and we'll do this side. And you can check out um, the other parts on my Instagram under the Reels tab. There's a Series tab. And then I also have these uploaded to YouTube as well. So you can find the pattern on my site. And um, you can also uh, follow along with us.